Hi guys, it's only me, Gemma. I just thought I would do a general fun update video. So uh, during the week, I've been doing a few bits of autism work, which I'm just going to run through and tell you about from my calendar. So just give me a second. What have I been doing today? Oh yeah. So on Thursday, just gone this week, I was at the local council doing some autism work with the local mental health trust who I work closely with in co-production with with my friend Sue and also my friend Veronica as well. So I went to the local council and we sat and did some work on my poetry book which I'm doing for the mental health professionals and for the patients who will be using mental health services. It's going to be a motivation and encouragement tool which I've been working on for the last little while to use as something that can be beneficial for both people and also I've been doing autism training packs and autism awareness work to help mental health professionals understand autism and how they can better communicate with people who are on the spectrum so that's uh, carrying a continual project that I'm doing with the mental health trust and then also I went to the local hospital use group celebration lunch on Friday and that was really, really nice to see my friends and to see everybody to catch up with them and do some teamwork activities and have some really nice sandwiches and crisps and some nice drink and I was invited by the learning disabilities nurse he won't mind me mentioning him so a big thank you to Pam who is the patient experience lead and to Roger the learning disabilities nurse who I do a lot of training on autism with for the staff at the hospital without him my work wouldn't be possible so I, I owe a lot to him for giving me the chance to be part of the elder group and to also join in with the celebration yesterday and also just update you about Friday as well um we're in a room which was quite noisy and as you know most of you who subscribe to my channel or who might be new to my channel I am autistic and I struggle with high pitched noises so things like the lights humming and the loud noise, it's like literally all I could hear was a mmm for absolute ages. But I overcome it. I stayed to the end of the meeting, which was from one o'clock till four-ish. But I was there from about uh, half eleven, quarter, quarter to twelve. Um, we met in the hospital entrance and then we went to the meeting and had a productive time. And it's really nice to see all the other user groups getting together and giving their points of view and saying about how much they'd achieved within a year and what they plan to achieve next year. So it's really nice to be part of that and catching up with everybody and seeing Roger and Pam and my friend Harriet and Angela and other people. So that was a really, really nice day. And then I spent the weekend with my dad and seeing him and some family. And then today I've just been chilling out and I thought I'd you know, I have done an update video for a while, so I thought I'd update you a little bit on what I've been up to, and I've also previously in the last month done some, last couple of months done some police training, which I trained the new uh, PCSOs, which stands for Police Community Support Officer here in England, I don't know if you had them in the US or anywhere else, I'm not sure, but in England we have Police Community Support Officers who We'll patrol local areas and make sure that everybody is okay and they kind of report any crimes or things that are reported to them. They will take it up and then report that to senior officers. So I train them on regards to communication and autism to make sure they understand how to communicate with someone who may be severely autistic or highly functioning autistic like myself. But again, we're all on a spectrum, we're all different. So again, it's important to get the balance of where we are on the spectrum and our needs and our communication difficulties. So again, for me, I carry my autism alert card with me all the time. It stays in my wallet. And that makes sure that if anything happens to me, that I can whip it out to professionals and just say, look, I'm autistic, read this card. And you can call my next of kin, which I've actually got my dad as my next of kin written down on my autism card so if anything happens to me they dial his mobile number and then he can come and get me and resolve any issues that could have happened to me so that's a really good way of knowing that someone's autistic but necessarily they might not have that so again it's trying to talk to them build up that professional rapport with them and trying to get the officers to understand that we're not all bad 
naughty people that we may be frightened, we may be anxious and that we might have been a victim of crime or someone who's committed a crime by being involved in the wrong kind of group or friendship group and we're often naive when it comes to picking friends. So that's another thing that I've been doing. That's another continual project that I've been doing for the last year and a half. I've been training the officers at the local station so I'm really proud of how far I've come with that because I first started taking support with me but now I've gone on my own and I've done quite a few talks now. I think I've done, I think I've trained over, I think it's 500 officers we figured out the other day. So that's a really good achievement for me to actually stand in the room and do that and actually get them to give me their feedback on regards to my training and what autism means to them and them as a local force. So that's a really, really good way of working together in co-production and making sure that we both know what's appropriate and what is not appropriate to communicate. So that's been really, really helpful for me and beneficial as well. So, yeah, I thought I'd just update you just a little bit to let you know what I'm doing And yeah, I think I'll leave it there, guys. I hope everybody's okay. And as always, thank you very much for watching my little video. Please give it a big like for me. Please comment, share, and please subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.